Hi, this is Lawrence Prestige. I'm really excited about my latest book, Can Such Things Be?, which is available on Amazon now and coming out into the shops in September. I'm actually going to read you a little bit from it now, one of the, one of the first short stories and rhymes in the book. It's called Miles the Magpie. And this is about a story about a magpie who, has a really big, who is a really big fan of pooing. Miles the magpie wasn't very smart. He tried his best to impress, but he was doomed from the start. His beak was slightly bent, his eyes were very beady, his skinny wings were weak, and those legs were just plain weedy. Poor Miles wasn't even elegant when he flew, but Miles wasn't bothered because he just loved to poo. He would glide in the sky, beady eyes looking down, search out a helpless victim lurking on the ground. He pooed on cars, all different makes. He pooed on children's birthday cakes. Miles was just unstoppable. He pooed in every place. In a cup final at Wembley, he pooed in the ref's face. One time he flew to America. He darted, dashed and sped. He whooshed and swooshed and just in time, hit the president's head. One evening, feeling very mean, he dropped his dung upon the queen. But the last victim Miles picked out, he would never forget. This would be a victim he would soon regret. He chose a lonely farmer, first name Reg. Miles would poo across his farm, all on his fruit and veg. The apples and the carrots, the tomatoes for his soup, had all felt the full force of Miles' poop. What Miles didn't know was that Reg hatched a plan. Miss Reginald Greenbottom was a very clever man. Reg starts to grow berries, knowing that's what magpies love, hoping it would bring Miles down from high above. Miles noticed the berries and soon glided down after he made sure no one was around. He started pecking away, filling up his gut, eating berries galore, he couldn't believe his luck. But when he was done and it was time to fly away, he noticed that his legs were making him stay. Miles flapped his wings as hard as he could, but still on the berry bush he stood. Miles was stuck, he didn't know what to do, for Reg had pasted the bush with super glue. Reg looked out of the window and smiled with rampant glee. He needed to get to Miles before the bird broke free. He headed up to Miles, taking with him his prized cow. Miles began to panic. What do I do now? Don't shoot me, cried Miles, or are you leaving me to rot? Kill you, replied Reg. I should think not. Then set me free, yelled Miles, and I won't bother you one bit. Time to taste your own medicine, said Reg. Let's see how you like it. Reg's cow turned around. Miles' fate drew near. Miles knew what was coming. His eyes filled with fear. He tried hard to escape, but still from the bush he hung. A few seconds later, Miles was completely covered in cow dung.